Hey what is up everyone I hope all of you are doing great and in today's question we have a small block when released on an inclined plane it first slides down then stops after sliding down a height h. This strange behavior is due to the coefficient of friction that is here proportional to the distance slid by the block. So here the coefficient of friction is directly proportional to the distance traveled by the block on the inclined plane. Find the maximum speed of the block during this motion acceleration due to the gravity is g. So let us analyze the situation. As you can see that there is an inclined plane of inclination theta. A block is released from rest. Initially the gravitational force pulls the block downwards. As the block moves downwards the frictional force comes into action. The frictional force increases but the downward force mg sin theta remains constant. So initially the speed of the block is increasing and it increases to a maximum value until and unless the force due to friction matches the force due to gravity. Force due to friction that is mu mg cos theta okay, matches the force due to gravity and after that the net force starts acting upwards because the value of friction increases um, it becomes more than mg sin theta. right? So, eventually the net force is acting upwards trying to stop the block. So, in between this whole motion the block reaches a maximum kinetic energy situation and at that situation the net force at maximum speed net force becomes 0. So, let us consider that the coefficient of friction is equal to kx where k is some positive constant using work energy theorem so that we can find an expression for h here. So, we can write that work done by the friction and gravity equals to final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy. So, work done by friction is mu mg cos theta dx with a negative sign and the limit goes from 0 to h cosec theta if this is h so this would be h cosec theta fine and work done by gravity is mgh equals to final kinetic energy is 0 initial kinetic energy is also 0. So, after integrating we get an expression for k which looks something like this fine. So, k was an unknown value unknown constant even theta is unknown but it will get cancelled out eventually. So, after that I have also written that maximum velocity will happen when the net force will be 0. That means the force due to friction will balance the force due to gravity. Let that thing happen when x equals x naught. So, at that time mu mg cos theta will be equal to mg sin theta. We have mu equals to k x naught here, mu equals to k x naught. So, we get x naught equals to sin theta by k cos theta using the value of k from first equation we replace it and simplify the value of x naught as h by 2 sin theta. Now, our target is to find the maximum speed that means the speed at x equals x naught. Okay. So, again we have started from the initial situation where k initial is 0 and uh, in our final situation the maximum speed will happen that means the maximum kinetic energy will happen. Okay. So, using work energy theorem between these two instants we can write down mg x naught sin theta. So, if this is x naught the vertical height is x naught sin theta work done by the gravity work done by the friction mu mg cos theta dx will later put mu equals to kx equals to final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy. So, mu equals to kx here integrating from 0 to x naught half m v max square. So, m gets cancelled out uh, cutting off all the common values. So, we finally get v max equals to this term. Now, just we will replace x naught from the first sorry second equation and uh, k from the first equation. So, after replacing all the constants okay, finally, we get a value v max square equals to g h by 2. So, v max becomes root over g h by 2. Okay. 
So I hope you all have found this video helpful and informative. If you are new to this channel, please do subscribe and if you like the video, please give a thumbs up and just share with your friends and teachers and I will see you in the next one. Peace.